Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to find the natural logarithm of any number. The natural log is easily defined as a logarithm with the base of E. E is the mathematical constant which has a value approximately of 2.71. So let's start with creating a new Win32 project. As you may see, there's a lot of changes in Visual C++ 2010 and Visual Studio 2010. One of the major changes is uh, the improvement in IntelliSense in uh, native C++ or Win32. Uh, there's, uh, there's actually highlighting of errors and that stuff. The only problem in Visual C++ 2010 is that they had actually removed IntelliSense uh, in CLR and CLI. Uh, and that's really a big problem, uh, especially for me, who I like to use a lot, CLR and CLI. But let's start with creating a new project and let's call it natural log. Here you will get a wizard, a Win32 application wizard. You click next and make sure it's on console application and then click finish. One of the cool things about um, Visual C++ 2010 is that there actually is suggestions when you want to add header files, which is something that wasn't in the previous version of Visual Studio. Um, you actually, if you don't know a header file, it actually can give you suggestions, which is pretty cool. But we're going to use IO string. Here you can actually see as parsing the header file and then it's done. Uh, now we're going to include another header file. And we're going to include math. We're not going to be using namespace. I mean, we can add including using namespace std, but you don't really have to do that. You can already just do this, and it'll be the same thing. It will give you the members of std. Uh, so let's start with the code. We're going to start with float. Float natural law. Natural log will be a variable of float, which is a sing uh, which is a single position floating point number. Uh, let's, then we're gonna go std c out entry number this will be the output of of the of the of the of the program, it will be the output will be enter a number. We're gonna add another output. That's what the C out stands for. Out. Just remember out. Uh, we're gonna keep the constants just nothing. Uh, this is so it has a little space. So this is optional. You don't really have to do this. And now we're gonna put input. The input. would be natural law. So, when that, so whenever someone inputs something, it would go it would equal the value of natural law, which is a variable, which is a single position floating point number. And now we're gonna go put another single position floating point variable called answer. This will be the answer of course obviously answer will equal std the log this will actually be the logarithm the natural logarithm which is of course a logarithm with the base of e the variable natural log so whatever the person inputs it would find that natural log of that number and we'll put a little space again of course, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but uh, now for another output, the natural. Logarithm of the number 
is exceeding n. And then another space. And then it would display the answer, which is, of course, the natural logarithm, as shown right here, where it says answer equal SED log natural log. This is another space, and here for the to end the thing, we're gonna put system pause. This basically will pause the program, and whenever the user presses any key, it will close the program. This is so you can actually read everything instead of you know automatically closing if you don't put that. Okay, now let's compile the program or debug. Just enter a number. I'm gonna put 2.71. Actually, 2.72 should give roughly about one, but it's not exact. The natural logarithm number is 1.0063. Press and keep continue. 